I am here with Carl Corpus, our boys 14 and 15 division winner. Carl, coming into today, you were tied with a share of the lead uh, with another player. So what was kind of going through your mind on the range on the putting green this morning, knowing that you were tied uh, for the lead there? Actually, I was a little bit pressured because I wasn't playing good in the first round. Actually, when I finished the first round, I thought I was going to be in well, last place because of my sport. <laughs> I was leading and then I knew that I had a good chance in winning for the day. Nice. And so when you got into the round, um, what, at what point did you kind of know you were playing with the, uh, the other player who had a share of the lead? What point did you know that you or you felt that you were going to win and, uh, and why? I think going to the last few years, I really had a good feeling. Because with the last years, I think I was ready to six up. So I think going to six up, I just needed to put my ball in the green, then at least make par and then win. Yeah, exactly. And so, uh, Carl, this is your uh, your first win of the season. Congratulations again. Is there anyone that you would like to thank for your uh, for this weekend? I'd like to thank my dad and my family for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again. I am with our girls 14 to 18 division champion, Latana Stone. Latana, congratulations. Thank you. Um, coming into the second round, you were three strokes off the lead. Um, is there any specific mentality that you take coming into a final round down a few strokes? Um, going through my mind, I was a bit nervous, but I know I had to go around strong. So I try to play safe going into the last few holes. Did you have a lead going into the last few I holes? Did. did you know? Yeah. Did I, that kind of change things? I had thing? a one shot lead going into the last few holes. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had two shot leads. <laughs> <laughs> two shot leads. <laughs> um, Latana, if when uh, you mentioned to me that your putting was kind of just a little, it was a little off and on at times. Um, when you notice one part of your game, maybe not uh, coming through as much as you would like, do you change your mentality with other parts of your game to kind of change your strategy on certain holes when you may have a chance between going between one club or another club? Um, I don't really like to change anything while I'm playing, um, but I mean, I try to get as close as I can to play Well, this is your first win on tour with us of so the 2016 season. Is there anyone that you would like to thank? Um, I'd like to thank you guys, the staff, <laughs> and my mom, my dad, my coach, everything else. I'd like to thank you, Asaf. Yeah, let us play the golf course. All right. All right, well, congratulations, Ethan. Thank you. I am here with Gregory Solhog, our boys 11 to 13 division winner. Gregory, this weekend uh, you played very, very well. Was there a particular club in your bag, your driver, your putter, uh, your wedge, that you thought what you were hitting the best and was a big contributor to your success? I think my driver. Your driver? Yeah. Hit a lot of fairways this weekend? Yeah. All right. And um, Gregory, coming down the 18th hole, you, uh, you did have the lead over one of your playing partners who finished second. What was going through your thoughts on that last hole? Were you nervous at all? seem to work out. And uh, Gregory, is there anyone in particular you'd like to thank for uh, your win this weekend? <laughs> All right. Well, Gregory, thank you again and congratulations. I'm here with Gustav Tegel, our boys 16 to 18 division champion. Gustav, um, we ended up having to go through three playoffs uh, to finally uh, deem a winner. And so kind of walk us through exactly what's going through your mind, going to the first playoff team, the second one, and then the ultimate third one where we end up here. So when I came to the 18th hole, I was pretty nervous because I was I know I was one shot behind. But then I had a pretty good drive and a pretty good second shot, and I made four and I made bogey, so I knew it was going to be a playoff. And I was kind of nervous, but I, was, I managed to stay calm. And the first hole, I hit a really good tee shot, and both of us hit pretty good shots. And we made easy par, and he made a really long par putt, which I thought I already won it, but he made it. So that was good and then we went back and we did the same thing. We both stayed up and down which was pretty good also and then 17 uh, I had a pretty good second shot and had a good chance of birdie. I ended up making par and he ended up making bogey. So stay calm.
didn't get any correction or anything. So nice. Good. All right. So uh, you kind of mentioned uh, one of them already. Uh, it sounded like on that first hole of the playoff um, where he had a very long car play. Yeah, he left it 10 feet short. I was, I thought it was over there, but he made a really good putt. Nice. Was there a point in the playoff at all when you were down and you felt like, uh, oh, I'm, there's no way I'm going to come back from this? Or? Not really. I was pretty confident. Okay. Uh, we ended up playing twice on 18, once on 17. Was there any hole on this course on particular that you would not at all have wanted to have played a playoff on? Probably number 14, the claw. The claw. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it the claw. Yeah. And uh, this is your first win of the season uh, with the Hurricane Tour. And so is there anyone that you'd like to thank in particular? I just want to thank you to Hurricane staff, and my coaches, and also Kevin. Kevin. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations again. Thank you.